It's interesting to see how different art forms are, are responding to the same play, whether it's dance or whether it's um, uh, uh, music and opera or whether it's a kind of performance piece in the case of what we're doing. We are doing Benjamin Britten's Midsummer Night's Dream at the Schubert Theater. It is the final production of our season. It is a new production, which means that we are creating the entire concept ourselves. If I would describe the performance of the Midsummer Night's Dream, first of all, I think it's amazing telling of the Shakespeare story in, in the vocabulary of dance. It's very luscious production. It utilizes also full symphony orchestra. It's a very personal journey. It's not a project that takes place in the theater. In fact, it takes place in Boston Garden. They wander from station to station that's established in the garden by the, by the writer, and they listen with an MPP player to the story that he's concocted and to the music, some of which is from Britain's Midsummer Night's Dream. It is the world of the dreams and fairies, and then it is the world of the mortals, that's a couple mixed up in love, love affairs, and it's very, very funny in many ways. And then you have the world of the rustics, and because you have music, Britain inhabits these different worlds very, very differently in terms of the musical color and tone and world. It's one of those things that takes you into it. You forget the rest of your life. You get to go into this world of sort of uh, magic for a couple hours and you're coming out of there feeling good. You see some things that really surprise you. You see things that you can really relate to. For those who, who have read The Midsummer Night's Dream will be surprised. They will recognize essentially the play in terms of verbatim. For uh, There are very, very few changes to it. But because you have the musical part of it, again, you can uh, as Benjamin Britten does, he, he, breathes, he breathes life into these characters. It's a different kind of theatrical experience, obviously very personal because it's experienced alone. Um, and I think that at the end of this experience, people will feel um, profoundly moved 